Welcome to another episode of Bargain Bin Saturdays. But I think I'll take a break from writing a script and just tell you how I feel about this movie. Spy Mate is probably one of the worst movies I've seen. Oh, who am I kidding? It's actually not that bad of a movie. As long as you approach it as it's meant to be approached. Dumb popcorn entertainment. I mean, it's hard to take this movie seriously when you have sound effects that sound like they come out of the Looney Tunes. Or wouldn't you... Or wouldn't feel too out of place in an Adam West Batman episode as long as they threw up the Kapow screen or something at you. Plot-wise, it's pretty standard, actually. Father's a retired spy. And he had a monkey for a partner. Well, primate, but whatever. And his daughter gets kidnapped by a scientist who's become mad with power. Dr. Evil, anyone? And he's going to dr make a use her invention of a chemical drill to drill a hole down to the center of the Earth so he can tap into its awesome power. Make himself a legendary scientist alongside names such as Albert Einstein and Newton. And that's all you really got for a plot. I mean, the rest of it's basically just using spy gadgets and trying to rescue the Amelia, the daughter. You also have a little side stuff with um the rest of the people in the circus, because after the primate retired, he went to the circus as a tra trapeze artist or something like that. So you got the fat woman, the strong man, a trape another tra a human trapeze artist, and the fastest man alive, who basically tries to moves around like Quicksilver, only with a really, really low budget. It's it's pretty bad. It's it's a terrible effect, but it's so bad, sort of fun. It's sort of good in its own corny way, I guess. Maybe I'm finding a love for just cheaply made bad movies. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Gravity wise, you couldn't guess this movie's special effects are highly dated. Even for the time, because this movie came out in, like, 2004. So I guess that's not to, that's not unexpected, since it obviously has a low budget if its appearance is anything to go by. Some of the special effects are just horrendously bad. But funny, because of it. Not as bad as um, Beneath Loch Ness, but they're up there. Sound-wise, the soundtrack ain't too bad, and I don't have that many complaints about the acting. I don't know if I really liked having Amelia on the screen that much, but child acting isn't known for being epic or anything. Actually, it's usually known for sucking, so I guess I should be thankful she wasn't any worse than she was. <laughs> I also question why the female Dr. Amoria, or I think that's how you pronounce her name, spoke in a French accent the entire time. I don't understand that at all. <sighs> As for why people act like this movie is meant to be taken serious, I don't know. I mean, you got jokes like secret secret ex agent who's used to work for the same agency as our retired spy chases a monkey on a skateboard while he's riding a motorcycle. They actually go through a skate park. He crashes his motorcycle into a koi pond and pulls a koi fish out of his jacket. I mean, then we got a bunch of other jokes about how the female assistant who'd always send them information, send the spies, our monkey spy and human spy information, would wear this tight leather outfit. So the entire movie, she's, she can't, she can barely fit into the outfit, and so when she finally gets done with the mission, she unzips it, she's like, finally, I can take this off, because it's several sizes too small for her now. I, I mean, I, I just don't know why people think this movie tries to take itself seriously. You might argue the jokes are bad, but it's obviously meant to be comedic. It doesn't really take itself seriously. It's hard to take sound effects when Mr. Yankee gets kicked through a wooden door. Seriously. Well, I guess it's maybe rice paper wall or whatever. But it's hard to take that seriously, especially with the sound effects attached to it. And he pops up with some stuff on his head and the monkey starts pointing and laughing at him. There, there's just nothing to be taken seriously here. It's just a dumb, stupid popcorn movie. Grab a soda and just shut up and watch it, I guess. It's not a bad movie to pick up if you can find it cheap. I mean, it's not like it's a good, it's a very good movie for any time. It's just for when you want to watch something dumb and stupid. 